Is that a quiet for anyone else? Uh, I certainly hope not, High Kaiser. If no one else has mentioned me being quiet. I will be most distressed if this whole stream I've been really quiet for everyone. My brain is childish, not young, Avak. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, what's the difference? I actually don't know there is a difference. But uh, as long as you're happy, mate. It seems that most people seem find that the volume is okay, High Kaiser. Let me know if there's any any issues on your end, dude. Like if you if you work out why you were having trouble, just in case anyone else mentions a similar similar problem. Wow, getting copper, you just really don't get much. Like if this was worm, every every stroke would be getting me a little bit of copper. But on this, it's like no, no. Each one of these axe pickaxe swings, nothing. You see all of that rock? No. This is kind of a little bit more of a brutal simulation of how mining works. It's like, yeah, you know, I, I've shifted eight tons of uh, eight tons of rock. I got four kilos of usable ore, <sighs> and I'll need twenty kilos to do a proper smelt. And out of that, I'll have one kilo of actual good iron. Being a miner sucks. It isn't quite that extreme, but it's kind of on those those sorts of levels. And I, I uh, wasn't plucking the 20 kilos to 1 kilo ratio out of thin air. That actually, you know, it more meant like early Iron Age techniques. And uh, the very early uh, in industrialization uh, and, and, and uh, iron working, the, the, the return on iron was really bad. You wanted good quality iron at the end of the process, you were gonna have to put in many times the weight of ore versus the ingots you got out. It was pretty crazy. All of that work and I've got eight copper ore. I'm interested in the whole... You cannot teleport this, though. It's like, uh, can I teleport other things? Is this something that I'm going to be doing later? Don't answer that question. That is absolutely in spoiler territory. This is me theory crafting for the future based on things the game is telling me. I very much enjoy... paying attention to what something doesn't say and thus what it does say. And also paying attention to what something implies by what it says. Ooh. What are you, my pretty? Oh, I'm way laden. I, I, I'm way laden, everyone. No, I'm uh, way too laden with copper I need to return. Wow, do I run with purpose when I've got this pickaxe out. My god, imagine someone just pelting it. I mean, this looks entirely too too cool, frankly. <laughs> Like, ugh. But this, this looks murderous. This looks like I am a crazy pickaxe wielding madman. Ah! That is not how you charge towards a rock. That is how you charge towards a person. Uh, I am getting a decent amount of rocks out of it, though, I suppose. Um. Yes, I'm going to move those out of here as well. In fact, those can move as well, right? There's no point in having those in my precious chest. They can live over here. We're not, we're not doing too badly, honestly, for the uh, components. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Do it naked, covered in war paint. Then that's intimidating. That is true. That is true. But how can you be intimidated by someone who, who's intimidated by the cold? No. True fear is seen in the eyes of a man who is but naked and covered in blue spirals, hurling himself down a mountain. That is fear. 
Those are the eyes of someone who does not care that you've got swords. Ah, oh, poop. I came all the way back and I didn't repair my pickaxe. That was so little. Oh, well, I'll, I'll use it up and then I'll go back. I mean, to be fair, the crazy eye that uh, the Woad were probably giving people, you know, having drunk Woad, also contributed, I feel. No. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh no, no, the, they, they drank it too. It wasn't just blue spirals that gave them that kind of courage, it's because they were basically going insane from imbibbing things you really shouldn't imbib. Um, nothing quite gives you courage like, you know, being crazy. Crazy people have a lot of courage. Not everyone did, of course. But uh, some of the most... The, <laughs> Probably, probably the, the, the ones that everyone heard the stories of and gave them uh, night terrors to imagine facing, those were the ones that, that drank. They, they weren't coming back, basically. Their, their intent was, we're not coming. This is a battle that we cannot afford to lose. We are literally going to be the front of the charge. We're not surviving this. To give them, to give them that kind of courage, they drank Woat. They basically lost any any capacity to care about their their well-being after that, and just hurled themselves at the enemy. Some of them did survive, but <laughs> not for very much longer. Or when they did, they were kind of like just bonkers because they, they they would drink. It wasn't just woad; it was a concoction of stuff. They, they were proper berserkers. They they went absolute animalistic berserk. And that's why they were so terrifying. You know, how, you can't you can't intimidate someone like that. So it didn't matter. They would literally just throw themselves on someone. Like if you had a spear, they would jump onto it and pull themselves down the spear to get to you. Kind of levels of crazy. It's like most armies aren't prepared for that. They're, they're prepared for the gruesomeness of war, but that level of insanity is just that, that's way up there. It's like, no, I'm no dot JPG. I'm out of this. Nah, I choose life. I'll take. I'll. I'll take the. Uh, I'll take the court martial. It's fine. Oh, these weren't Vikings. These were Celts. The the Wodes. <laughs> yeah, they they. Well, they like I said, they were berserkers. All right, let's have a. Oh, I need a nearby fire. Oh, let me go grab some wood. Uh, again, not all of them were. And uh, you know, there's, there's there's plenty of stories about the about the various shenanigans and all of that. Many of them were just you know they were just covered in blue spirals. Now not all of them were naked, throwing themselves down the hill, but they were they were quite quite brutal warriors. All the same, they were they were very brave, and you know, like for a lot of reasons, they, as far as they were concerned, they were they were fighting for the uh, for survival of of their their tribe for all intents and purposes. You know, parents fighting for the safety of their children, children fighting for the safety of their elders, so on and so forth. But it was quite crazy sometimes. All right, let's go and uh, do a bit more mining. No, as far as I'm aware, I mean, I'm sure the Vikings had, you know, tattoos and stuff, but the world were, the, were a specific group. Uh, they weren't exclusive to any part of the British Isles, though, interestingly. There is an example of the exact same type of of uh, um, uh, occurrence, you know, specifically with Woad, both in the north and in in towards the south. You know, they they were they were um, they were prevalent in in, in Welsh history, uh, Scottish history, 
fairly certain, you know, they, they were as far south as Cornwall. Uh, oh, I've gone a little bit too far. There we go. It was probably more of a, a British... It probably came from a much, much further back part, and it just spread across the whole British Isles. By the time Romans came and, you know, documents of this sort of stuff started surfacing, it was a well-practiced um, tactic, I guess. Also, who that? Oh, CK Hawk, thank you so much. That was incredibly kind. <laughs> I appreciate the tip, mate. Don't mind me as I love your content because it's about the journey, which is very different from my completely the fastest way approach. Different strokes for different folks. The main thing is that you're enjoying it. That's the only thing that matters. There is no wrong way to play a single player game. And even in multiplayer, you know, as long as everyone's in agreement, there's still no wrong way. Mining is getting a bit better. We're, we're being able to mine through this a lot faster now, but it's still going to take a while, I imagine. Man, I hope those uh, hives have been busy. By the time we get back, I'm going to need them. I'm hearing things fighting, though, and I'm a little bit concerned about being snuck up on by a troll. Yeah, woad was also useful for dyeing clothes. Yeah. Well, that, that's kind of why they were called woad. It wasn't because they drank the stuff. It's because they painted themselves with it. That's that's where that's why I was saying the blue spirals. I mean, they weren't always spirals, but you know, generally, in, in uh, it was quite common for it to be spirals. I think they thought better of it. Very well. Really? I'm assuming each time my skill with pickaxe goes up, I get, I do like one point extra damage, but it might be less than one point extra damage. It might just be like a percentage increase. Try mining from the top. For some reason, you do more damage mining down. Well, there's reason for that, actually. Though I wasn't aware that that was modelled in the game. I'll try it. Um, there's a reason why you do more damage mining down. <clears throat> it's because you can put your whole weight into it. Because you're, you're basically using a gravity-assisted swing at that point. It's also... The I, I'm not going to say the proper way, that's a bit arrogant to say, but it's uh, a very good way to chop wood for multiple re reasons. One of them is safety. Um, instead of, like, swinging from your shoulders, standing tall, with the uh, the wood propped up so that it's the right height for, to, for the axe to make connection with, because if you do that and you miss, well, where's that axe going? It's now swinging all the way down, because you probably put a heck of a lot of force into that, and you may end up axing your legs. As crazy as that sounds, it actually happens, sadly, more often than you might expect. Um, but if you instead 
swing over your shoulder and then kind of pull down with a bended knee and you're pulling the axe down along its arc. You, you, at that point, you're using gravity as well. And you're driving the axe head down straight into the, the top of the wood and then straight down instead of in an arc where it would strike the top of the, the wood. And it honestly, even if it hits the wood, if the wood is, is like icy wood, it's probably going to bounce off. Um, but if you're driving it down like that, then the the extra force and downward me momentum can just shear straight into the wood, even if it's particularly uh, particularly uh, cold and hard. Oh, I axed my leg. Wow, Univen. Like, oh, luckily the axe was dull. I imagine you still ended up with a heck of a bruise. I'm very glad to hear that it uh, didn't leave you with the worst wound, though. I just punched. Did I just. I punched the copper deposit and I gained a level. Such was my rage. I gotta be honest, as much as I enjoy the uh, archery in this game, I really like the uh, the melee. I really, really like the, the melee. It's very satisfying melee combat. It's not like Dark Souls frantic, but it has a meatiness to the swings that I really appreciate. Nice thing about dropping back is I've already uh, uh, warmed up and gotten rid of the cold. And there's a second stack now of copper. Fantastic. I am terribly sorry. I am going to butcher your name so much. Famine loves you. I hope I got that right. Thank you very much for the prime sub. That's really, really kind of you. Deal about. Does Avak have multiple houses? Yep. Pretty much every time I go somewhere and I'm going to be doing a little bit of work, I create a new camp. More or less. Oh, hello. You're quite the scallywag, aren't you? He's a chunky boy. Ah, like he's a real estate magnate. Well, not quite that. Uh, currently, my camps involve Fair Knights, which was the initial camp. It's basically a lean-to with a little crafting area. Old Town, which is a house. Um, Ember Light, which I'm making into my main area. It's got my largest crafting area and, and, and home. Then we've got Troll Scorched. Oh, Troll Scorched. I don't know why I'm going to rename that. Uh, that should be Troll Scorched. Uh, which uh, you've just seen me come from. And then Raid's Mouth. Uh, or Raid's Muff, if you prefer. That one is more of a, uh, a staging area for when I went into my first dungeon. I wasn't sure what to expect. It's in the, the Darkwood. Troll Scorched is just outside the, the Blackwood, sorry. So I'm really hoping I can undermine this and I don't have to do all the work. Because that would be amazing. Let's be honest, you know it would. Oh, they know I am here. No point in trying to hide. But uh, Raids, uh, Raidsmouth is 
probably my more developed of the camps. Anything with a little fire, campfire, is more of a camp, whereas that is more of a settlement. Um, but yeah, Raidsmith is easily my most developed one so far. Don't, I don't want to undermine it on my head, though. It's kind of one of the conditions of undermining is don't don't undermine your own to your own uh, detriment. No star lady she lab. Have a good night. Hopefully Tilly will keep you company. Yep, what? Ah, oh, come on. Okay, fine, I guess I'm fighting you down here. It does seem that you can excavate the world pretty easily. And as much as I was a little bit concerned when I saw that the hoe only had raise and level, you can easily use it to achieve pretty amazing things, I think. Last bit. Oh, this is quite the storm. I wonder if it would recognize that I am out of the ring. No, it doesn't. That's a shame. That would have been funny. Oh, it did? Oh, yes, it did, because the wetness is now counting down rather than staying at two. That is fantastic. I love this game. This game is amazing. No shelter buff, but it did recognize that I was no longer in directly be being rained on. It is absolutely fantastic. have a friend? No, it doesn't look like you did. Oh, no, you did. What's this? No, I don't believe that's uh, more copper. Alright, we're about to finish undermining this area. Just as my pick is about to break, actually. Very fortuitous. Okay, I take it back. We are not actually ready to undermine it. I think I'm more likely to get all of this copper with this, without having to go back and uh, fix my pick, if I just get the, it undermined, but I think I, I'm going to have to take this part out. Which probably means one more return, at the very least. Tonk! Wow, that was satisfying. Okay, duly noted. Undermining is a is a okay for mining strategies. Fantastic. That was d 
deeply satisfying. I am satisfied on a deep level. Alright, let's get back to that fire so I can warm up a bit. Now we should dry off super fast because we're near a fire. As you can see. Actually, while we're here, I guess I'll have a look at this. Blocking, we're almost up to 11. It's getting really good now, actually. Which uh, will increase the damage absorbed when blocking with a weapon or shield. Wood cutting is up 31. Bows is up 21. Very nice. Knives is at 32. Pickaxe is at 22. Run and sneak are about 22 each. Jump is lagging behind a little bit, but... Swim is at 10. Axes is only at 18. I guess clubs is the one that's going to start going up sharply. Um, looking forward. Simply because I'm about to uh, make... A new weapon that is a club weapon specifically. Right. Go grab the rest of that copper. Um, we should be able to make it back on the raft. Based on the direction of the, the wind is blowing right now. It'll probably work. I'm very disappointed that I didn't think of trying to undermine in the 25 plus hours that I have played this game. You are not alone, <laughs> Rem Cycle. Oh, did you not think of it either, Bilal? Oops. That's not what I wanted to pull out, but okay. Why have I got my fist? No. If I had died to Grey Dwarves because I didn't realize that I wasn't actually attacking with my dagger, I would have been most vexed. Well, I am sad now. I'm noticing that the rain is not falling in the direction the wind is blowing. Wind is blowing in this direction, Bilal, and that's the direction the rain is falling in. It is absolutely falling in that direction. Unless, perhaps, it sometimes falls in odd directions, and I just didn't notice. You notice my uh, little arrow on the minimap pointing in the same direction as the rain. Well, it is now. Oh, maybe, maybe it. Uh, maybe I missed when you first said it. Sorry about that. Uh, any more carpet? Yes, a tiny bit of carpet. There. I think that's it. Okay. We have thoroughly mined out that copper node. I am good pleased. Don't have much tin, mind you, but... Oh, well. We'll get that another time. Very sure this is just a wet rock. My raft is dead. I uh, definitely brought it a little bit too close to the shore, it seems. Well, that is a shame. Oh, 
But the wind is now blowing in the correct direction for us. That is the direction we want to be going, so... Bring those logs with us. Got a cheeky so-and-so outside who will probably want to do horrible things, but must not be allowed. Uh, okay, so the issue here is that I've got limited carry capacity. Uh. Okay. You little scoundrel. It probably wasn't that it was against the show, it was that Grayling came along and attacked it. Absolute scallywag. Actually, they've been attacking this, too. Scallywags. You just don't expect such such barbarism and, 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 and uncivility. My lord. I want those back with us as well. This does not give us much in the way of ability to haul... Uh, each one of these is ways how much. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to take this back for now. We'll have to then walk back to grab the ore. It's not like we can do much with the ore right now anyway. Now, you should not generally have your sails unfilled during the storm, but we're going to anyway. Just not all the way. Oh. Never mind. The storm is gone. Thank you very much, Storm. Appreciate it. Oh, do I want to leave the flint here for the future chopper? Oh, that would have been a good idea, actually. Yeah, to be fair.